Okay guys, Adam here. So, in this video we're going to develop the film that we've loaded into our Patterson tank. So, I've got some pure water here, uh, which um, is currently sitting at 21 degrees centi uh, centigrade. That's really important. You need the temperature to be right. I'll just remove that uh, thermometer. And I'm going to be using the uh, Ilford uh, developer. When we're working with small amounts, uh, we need to mix this up uh, with one part to 19 parts. So um, well, that's fine. I'm uh, just going to put an amount equivalent uh, to that into um, this liquid now, and I've just spilt it all over the place. So we drop that in. I tend to use uh, the long edge of a wooden spoon just to mix that up. So that's all mixed, that's fine. Ooh, smelly. Alright, now we just pour that into our uh, Patterson tank. Put the lid on. We rotate sort of in a 360 degree motion around a few times. You don't want to shake it, you just want to agitate and rotate, okay? The whole point of this is just to move any air bubbles um, that could be trapped up against uh, the film um, away from the edges of uh, the film. And it's also because the uh, developer um, stays active against uh, the film, but then it tends to lose its potency quite quickly. So you want to um, keep moving it around so that fresh developer keeps on hitting the sides of the film. All right, so uh, it's a 12 minute process. We tend to agitate once every two to three minutes. I'll just leave uh, that there and start a timer. Alright guys, a little bit more agitation and just rotation of uh, the Patterson uh, tank. You can hear that developer in there doing its job, it's great. Alright, now we're at a stage where soon we're going to need to apply some fixer. So, this is really easy. Um, I use the uh, Ilford uh, Rapid uh, Fixer. Um, it only takes um, about uh, two to five minutes to actually uh, do its uh, job. Um, and we only need a little bit, so um, it's uh, one part to four parts, I'm assuming uh, five litres. Um, I'm only going to mix up um, about 250 uh, mil and uh, just put in about 60 uh, mil of uh, fixer um, uh, in there. I'm just going to get that ready. Now the fixer really, really stinks by the way. That's about all the fixer uh, we need. And then I'm just going to go and add some water to that. 
Alright, so we're nearly uh, done with the developing process. Just a little bit more agitation, and then we'll just leave it to settle for one more minute. And then we'll uh, go and get rid of our developer, uh, rinse out the uh, film, and then uh, we'll quickly put in the fixer. Okay, that's our development process over. I'm just going to get rid of this developer. Okay guys, I've just gotten rid of the developer and I've rinsed off the film. We have to be a bit quick about this. So we just pour in the fixer. Put the lid back on. Start our timer. We're only going for two minutes here. Just agitate, make sure every bit of film gets some fixer. The fixer is so important if uh, you want your images uh, to stay on the film. And we have to stop the development uh, process um, by using uh, the fixer as well, okay? So the fixer just pauses the development process and seals the image onto uh, the film forever. And we're done, so I'm just going to remove this uh, fixer and uh, give the film a last rinse. Okay guys, so now for the moment of truth. All we have to do now is get the lid off of our Patterson tank and that is not always easy. And I'm absolutely overjoyed to see some images on the film as well. That's always, always, always a good sign when there's images on the film. So we'll just gently unravel. like no parts of the film were touching um, the other parts of the film which is sometimes a little bit of a uh, problem um, if you have bits of film that touch the others and then the developer can't actually get to it that can be a real issue but there we go guys we've successfully uh, developed some film um, looking forward to scanning these images and checking them out thanks